being mid-career, I discovered that I'm not getting more timid, I'm getting more ambitious. I'm Eric Jarvis, and I run the lab of the neurogenetics of language here at the Rockefeller University. So the main research area of my lab is understanding the genetics underlying spoken language and how it evolved. And we're using non-human animals that have the ability of vocal learning, like songbirds and parrots, to further understand our own abilities. So far, we have found that the vocal learning species and humans and these vocal learning birds have four brain areas that control the ability to produce imitated sounds that we cannot find in our closest relatives. And now we're trying to find out what are the underlying genetic differences in humans versus our closest relatives that make up that four-brain circuit and then try to test the hypothesis, are these genes necessary to develop that circuit? My approach is if a trainee comes to me and has an idea and they can convince me that their new idea is really fantastic and it fits within the framework of the questions we're asking in the lab, then I'll let them go ahead and try it. I'm often told that my lab is very friendly, they're very sociable, they get along with each other, it's a good place to work in, but the bar is raised high. The more we understand how the brain works, the more we understand how we humans and non-human species can actually communicate, work with each other, and bring about a more peaceful planet. The more we understand how uh, humans are creating toxins and other things that cause global warming and change the environment, the more we can try to prevent those things, or at least in our case, sequence the genomes of many species that are critically endangered to save the genetic code forever. I really have a driven motivation for science, not just for discovery, but also helping society.